it is the very busy Christmas weekend period and I've got a problem uh, Tesla is rolling out more software updates or they're rolling them out quicker than I can actually test them so here's the first test the car in front of me is going to turn right let's see how long the car waits before accelerating again so that's yeah it's it starts accelerating really softly after that um, I guess that's on the safe side that is doing that I would accelerate a little bit sooner but it's not like it's hindering traffic behind me so that's that's a good point um, but yeah as I was saying we are currently on software update 50.1 I had a 48 and something um, in between but that didn't do much um, in terms of improvements now I hope I can demonstrate it here because this is the part where we go up the bridge and usually the car veers off a little bit to the right and then it um, automatically let's say uh, corrects itself and this morning I noticed that it's going really bad to the side this time with this update so let's see if we can simulate it again so I got some room here let's see so at the top I think it's going to go to the right well it was worse this morning so that's kind of weird let's see what it does here it's going to the right braking for the car accelerating again not too bad oh to the left a little bit that's that's a new one okay so maybe this was a uh, situation based but now it seems that the update is behaving more or less like it used to uh, for the previous update so no real changes there so here we have that lane divider again and on the right side we have a street coming so it doesn't have the lines to follow anymore what does it do a little bit to the left but it's okay it's okay um, so again no new changes there This is the part where we're coming up to that right left turn that it's not able to take so I'm going to keep my distance here from the cars in front of me and then we'll see for drop ahead how it handles those uh, those turns so sticking to 60 giving them some room okay so let's get up to 70 kilometers an hour which is what we're allowed to do here and see what's what hands on steering wheel it's it's over the line but it is taking the turn but it goes over the line which is not good and here yeah we're doing only 50 anymore so oh that was what the hell it just braked really hard for a car that wasn't even there there was no car showing on the dashboard either that was strange okay I've had this happening when uh, for example the car was going to the side into the separate lane like we saw earlier um, if, if it needed to go left for example then my car would slow down but this was hitting the brakes really hard while nothing was there and nothing was showing on the dashboard so that that that's a new one so now that we're on the highway let's see what the auto lane change does so i'm passing a car right now i'm just past the car and going to the right that seemed to react a little bit faster than it used to 
but still I'm seeing the dotted lines goes back to the full line and then the dotted lines appear again so let's see what we can do with this truck here um, and, and see how uh, the lane change reacts so coming up to the truck passing the truck now past the truck going right dotted lines nope nope only now it starts going so I have a, a video lined up for you guys uh, where I'm doing some extensive testing on the uh, auto lane change so that's hopefully for the next week that I'll be able to shoot that if we have some decent weather and I'll be teaming up with a friend of mine to, uh, to do that test um, and then we're going to test out a lot of different scenarios to see what it is that triggers the auto lane change or when it doesn't uh, do the auto lane change but yeah so no difference in auto lane change uh, so it still waits uh, before it allows you to go to the right lane again once you pass a car if you didn't pass a car um, then it's no problem it does it immediately there's no real change in the hill section um, although I should try that again um, let's do that so I'll, I'll go back there and try that again uh, but I didn't see a hill change this time but this morning there was a, a big change um, the corner there yeah it just braked really hard um, so I'm not quite sure what happened there there was no car collision alert or whatever it just braked really hard in the middle of the lane so luckily there was no car behind me because that was a dangerous situation actually so I got this uh, yeah this little section up ahead uh, where we might encounter another car in front of me turning left and that's that's one more test and then I'll go back to that hill section hopefully without cars this time and see how it reacts there again so here we have another car going left Yeah, it keeps its distance and apparently it takes a while before it realizes that the car is actually no longer in your lane also the car on the dashboard um, keeps being white in the left lane so it displays it in the lane next to mine but it stays white so that means that it's tracking the car for some time before that disappears um, this morning I had another case actually where um, the car in front of the car in front of me that one was turning left so here the same but now the car doesn't really slow down for for the car going to the left so sometimes it it works flawlessly um, but as I was saying so the car in front of the car in front of me that one turned left and my car was actually braking for that one that was uh, surprising but it's it's not the first time that I've had that happening so it proves that the Tesla actually does track the car in front and reacts to the car in front of the car in front of you uh, which is awesome I mean yeah th this is purely radar based and right now I'm seeing the car I'm seeing two cars on the dashboard in front of me so yeah that's that's cool that that actually works and somehow they bounce the radar signal underneath the car to detect the car in front of that uh, so that's yeah that's cool okay so here we have the part again where there might be a car going left yes the one in front of me goes left so I'm expecting my car to break again it slows down a very little bit but this time it just let the car move ahead and it didn't really slow down maybe it was the car in front of me that did the slow down 
so yeah sometimes it does break when the car in front of you goes to the other lane sometimes it doesn't so there's no rule uh, that I found uh, when it works or when it doesn't work So here again we are coming up to that uh, quick left right just in front of that bridge um, don't think I'll be doing maybe I'll be doing 70 by the time I get there so we're doing 56 it's 57 58 59 60 there was 65 by the end of the turn and don't know if it's really noticeable on the on the video but it was actually already going really far towards the the middle lane or the middle line sorry so that is still yeah that's still a tricky one for autopilot so now I'm going back to that uh, first section again it's not far from my home and we'll try that again hopefully with a little less traffic and then I'm hoping it behaves the same as the first time because then this morning would be a one-time glitch and that's it but this morning I actually had to intervene uh, before they drove me into the curb so yeah we'll see okay so I have some room here right now um, yeah so let's see how it reacts this time. So taking it up to 70 as soon as I can. Up, there we go. And let's see what it does at the top without any traffic in front of me. Yeah, you see that? So that's a little bit more than the last time. Well, again here it's more than the last time so it seems that if the car has some traffic to follow that it's a little bit more stable that means that it doesn't only work on the lines but it combines the lines and the traffic so same here small judder but nothing too bad the first one was actually worse than the last time So yeah, uh, over the past three, four updates, I haven't really seen any big improvements on autopilot. It's gotten a little bit more stable on highways, um, but on local roads like these, I know it's not meant to be working on these roads, but these are the roads that present the most challenging environment for autopilot and um, yeah it's it's doing quite all right because I'm really seeking out the corner cases here but on the other hand there's no real improvements in the last three to four updates so that's a shame I'm hoping that with the promised update that Jerome Guillain mentioned earlier uh, like a, a month ago or something that should be coming this year so hopefully we'll get another one before the end of the year um, but yeah other than that uh, it's waiting for the navigation update that Elon just promised for early 2018 and hopefully that comes together with some uh, some decent enhanced autopilot updates we'll see we'll just have to wait I'll just try this one more time going back usually in this direction it's better than in the other direction which is also a little bit strange but oh, it's going to the right corrected itself what's it going to do here going down yeah again a little bit to the right this one's a little steeper hill Yeah, I almost had to cut it there. So that's definitely a, I would call it a regression bug. 
but it used to be better than uh, than that right but anyway we'll test again with the next update so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time bye bye